Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud and Tifa here with another Let's Play video. Yes, hello Tifa. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I don't know where my emotes are, otherwise I'd do it with you. <laughs> and today we are carrying on our RuneScape Iron Man and Iron Woman series. Uh, apologies, it's been a little while since we've done the last one of these, but uh, it's been really funny. It's been that long since we've last been doing one. Tifa forgot what I looked like, and this guy behind us who's picking this fruit and veg out, she thought it was me because it's the same hair. <laughs> oh, he I love... really does look like you. He does, like my other character with a proper blonde yeah. hair. Like, why would you think my character's sitting there looking so in depth for it? Well, you're picking out fruit, you might be hungry. <laughs> it's like, hmm, what should I select today? <laughs> just, I don't know what to pick, there's just too much choice. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, I don't know. Oh, just pick something or die. <laughs> oh, you want to challenge me, do you? Oh no, I can't unsheath! <laughs> I don't know where the sheath button is. There it is. Oh, you like to duel me, do you? Yeah. Very well. Oh god. This will end in your death. <laughs> Achia! Ching! What the hell? You just spun round! <laughs> oh, we're already off to a good excellent start. Go on, kick our ass, clown. Now, I will make you bleed. Jah! No! <laughs> oh, I just smashed you in the face of the shield. Cloud is the victor. Now, let me go pick my fruit seeds. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> we wanted to test out the duel because we haven't played it since it's come out, being able to duel each other, but naturally I won. Yes. Anyway, today we are going to try and get some of the easy sort of quests done. That guy's still waiting for that guy to purchase the fruit. <laughs> um, so we're just going to try and get some of the quick ones done. So the first one we're going to do is Ernest the Chicken, uh, which we'll find in Drain the Manor, where you fought your favourite friend, oh. Kim the Vampire. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. No, well we're going to the manor, but we're not going to fight the vampire. So Good. we're going to Drain the Village. I wish real life was like that. I'm going to read a book and then I'll be at my location. <laughs> Well, that'd be so easy to get to work. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be able to get out and just, like, leave <laughs> at the last minute. People would be like, Tifa, do you want to lift home? Oh, no, no, I've got my ride. You start drawing the floor with chalk and then sitting down and reading a book. <laughs> right, into the spooky manor. Oh, no, I think we have to speak to that lady at the front first. Yeah, Veronica. The one with the chicken icon next to her. Can you please help me, my fiancé Ernest? Well, first of all, your problem there is you've got a fiancé named Ernest. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, what happened to my mini map? Oh, sorry, I was showing it's the quest area. My mini map just suddenly went schizo. I'm going to try and remember this as best I can from when I you had played this like the first ever time and you didn't have like guides to go by. <laughs> So I think um, we have to go and actually find Ernest first, who's near with the nutty professor. Oh, he just got attacked by the tree. Oh no! I'm the rapey tree! <laughs> <laughs> Better not be. <laughs> right, right to the very tippity tippity top. Oh, well, you were about to go and see Kim the vampire, weren't you? No. <laughs> you were. Uh, you wanted to fight him again. Hey, there's some other guy here. Islam. Oh god, brother of Saradomian, okay. I think I just found a member of ISIS in here. Up that ladder. I think ISIS are now playing RuneScape. Where? In here. Oh, <laughs> I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> Look, that guy's name. That guy is named Islam, brother of Saradomian. I don't think Saradomian supports ISIS. <laughs> Right, I think we have to talk to Professor Odenstein. Be careful in there. I'm looking for a guy called Ernest. So do you know where he <laughs> top is? Top-notch bloke. <laughs> yeah, he's a top-notch... We're doing proper British. He's a top-notch bloke! <laughs> oh, he's a chicken! I'm 
I'm glad Veronica did actually get engaged to a chicken. That would probably um, compensate for her, his name being Ernest, though. She might just be very, um, what's the word? Very uh, partial to poultry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the things we need are an oil can, a pressure gauge, and a rubber tube. I think I remember where one of those things are. Well, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so. Right, right down to the bottom, I think. Uh, just double check it. Oh no, first here, I know we need this fish food. A box of fish food in here. Ah, I'm being attacked by a ghost. Die, ghost. There should be some fish food up here next to where I was in a sec. I, I already got dibs. Are you fighting it too? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> when it's something strange in your neighborhood, <laughs> you're in a car. Ghostbusters! <laughs> I ain't afraid of no roast. <laughs> <laughs> and now we wait for the fish food. I can't remember what we have to do with the fish food, but something. And no, it's not just feed the fish. <laughs> feed the fish <laughs> and you get the items. <laughs> Hello, I am the magic fish. <laughs> While we're waiting, let's have a rematch. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Coward, you must fight me before you claim the fish for- Oh no, there's a ghost! <laughs> oh, nice bash through the shield. Oh, I just got a level up, thanks Tifa. Hey, I didn't get a level up. That's <laughs> because I landed the first blow to it. Okie dokie, schmoky, what else do we need? Oh yeah, the rubber tube is in this room with that skeleton. I remember that much. I just can't remember how to get in there. We need to look for some items around the room. Oh, that's it. Right, I think I remember this bit. So, there's some poison on the table and you have to make these poison fish flakes for the fountain that has the piranha in because that has the key to that room. I think. <laughs> Something's what? telling me that anyway. <laughs> I'm Cloud, you're Tifa. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for the poisons, and this time you have to duel me. <laughs> Fights each other in this narrow doorway. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Just shut the door in your face. I win! Oh no, I locked myself in here with you, and a rat escaped. Stop shutting the door. <laughs> oh, you just kicked me out of the way then. Cloud, stop leaving the door open. And there's a chair right behind you. Yeah, it's following <laughs> me. Mr. Chair. Oh, get in that chair. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Run, finish her. Run, run, run. Oh, run. Did I win? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I like, ran away like a little bitch. <laughs> I stood my ground, but I still die. Yeah, that's what happens if you stand your ground. If you run away from your enemy and come back, then it's all good. There's your poison. Yeah, I learned of that in the last episode, didn't I? Yes. There's the poison on the table, and then add that to the fish flakes. Then feed it to your pet a goldfish, Norman, and then watch him die. And then you have to flush him down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't have a fish called Norman. Okay. Alright, Dory then. No! <laughs> You can't do that to Dory. Right, now we're heading outside. And we need this spade. There is normally a spade on the ground. I think I stole it before you, though. We might be able to share a spade. I wonder if we can trade it to each other. Can I trade you a spade? You cannot trade this item as you're in Iron Man mode. <laughs> what is the spade going to do to help level you up? <laughs> Yay, my digging level has gone up. What's that there you just found? A bronze helmet. Ooh, pick it up. We can sell it for coins. <laughs> We're just like pilfering things. <laughs> can we actually sell it though? Uh, we can sell it to the general store, can't we? Oh, okay, yeah. 
Or some, oh, shears. some shears. No, don't shave me! <laughs> right, so this way, Tiva. I think we have to go all the way around. Oh, what? Why is there a, a noose around here? Like, to train a manor. Like, yeah. people, like, murdering them or something. Right, while we're around here, I think we use the spade on the compost heap. And find a small key. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, that's the key for the skeleton, so the piranhas must have the other thing. Here, <laughs> you've got a nice poo covered key. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in your pocket. <laughs> and then the piranhas are over near that sort of circular thing on the mini map. You mean the little pond? Yeah, and then when you try to search the fountain, there seems to be a pressure gauge in here. Ow! And a lot of piranhas. So now we poison the piranhas. You pour the poison fish root into the fountain. The piranhas start eating the food and then die and float to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both dip our fingers in together. Right, so we've got the pressure gauge. Have you? Hooray. Okay, now we can go and get the pressure... Uh, no, the other thing from the skeleton room. We should be able to just gang up on a skeleton together then, shouldn't we? Mm, we said that last time and it didn't work. Oh, yeah. He's not actually someone you have to kill. I think I remember when I was being such a low level, running in there, grabbing the tube and running out. Like, that's oh, yeah, a scary I skeleton! Doing that as well. <laughs> right. Are we ready to open this door together? Beat the skeleton up. Three, two, one, open! Fight us, Mr. Skeleton! Ha cha! Ha cha! Oh, it's easy, actually. I'm going to take the rubber yeah. tube. I didn't even have a chance to attack him. He was too he easy. If we could handle the, the count of this room, then... Oh no, you're going to have to become the skeleton now, Tifa. <laughs> I'll wait for you. It looks like a little rat's tail. So the last bit... Oh god, I remember getting the last bit. Oh, it's the oil can and there's this... Actually, no, it's not that harsh. There's still a chair following me. <laughs> he likes you. Get in here. And down the ladder. Here we go. I remember this room. Oh, they've updated this since. Okay, so here's the deal, Tifa. The uh, oil can is in this room with this cage, and we have to pull a series of levers to open it. Okay. But what they've done before, you never told, could tell which levers were which gates, but now they've added little colours to the gates. Mm -hmm. So we so might we actually need... be able to work this out by... So not... we need the blue one, the yellow one, and the red one. Yeah, all together to open that one, but we've o the other levels are only accessible from there, and we've got these ones here, so we have... A green lever and a red lever, so I think we've got to pull the green and the red first to open the first one. I'm going to try and work this out without following a guide, because originally I would have just looked it up. Right, yeah, pulling the green and the red open the first one. Do I have to do it as well? Or just uh, it yeah, out? you do, because it's not... <laughs> yeah, otherwise you could just annoy someone and be like, open, close, open, close. <laughs> okay, I pulled lever D and that's opened another door, but it's not got to where we need. Hang on. We might be best just both just trying different combinations and seeing what works. Ah, okay, what I've done, I just pulled lever um, D and then I came back out and pulled lever A. And that gets you right in the room with the other two levers, which is the purple and orange one, neither of which we actually need for that door, it's just the orange, isn't it? Okay, pull the orange, the orange. Let's do that one. I'm just trying to see what colours are for this door. So there was. It looks like it's got orange, yellow, blue. Yeah, orange, yellow, and blue. That lever needs to be. <laughs> You've just gone silent. I mean, your brain's like <laughs> frying. 
pretty much, yeah. <laughs> We're just trying our own combinations. Yeah, I'm already lost, so... I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I'm getting a bit confused myself now. Oh damn. I think I've just locked myself in. Nah, that's impossible. You could just teleport out. <laughs> that's a point actually. I reckon if we can open just open the door, we can teleport out and run back in and it will be ready. <laughs> like all we need to do is concentrate on getting the main gate open. I have actually locked myself in. Have you? Because this door is shut and that door is shut. You just gotta pull them in a certain combination to to get them out again. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just thought I could hear that. It's not me. Oh, hang on, I've just noticed I've opened the other gate that I actually need to get to. Alright, I'm going to see if my trick works. Okay, I'm going to teleport out and then I'm going to see if it's open from that side. I literally, all I had to do was pull the orange and purple and then the other two levers in between those four is what actually triggered that gate to open. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, note to self, don't teleport out because the game goes, you're not going to do it that easy. Oh, you little bugger. <laughs> You've done it before me. It's about time we've done something before you. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> Stop celebrating! <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Hey! It was that all I had to do? Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> I was too quick to cheat. See, I'd actually just use my character's pure strength just to rip the door off its hinges. <laughs> See, if it was my other character, I'd just pick the lock. Mm -hmm. but... Oh, actually, if it was my main character, I would have slayed the door, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Right, now we take these three things back to Dr. Odenstein. Can you imagine trying to do this uh, quest the first time round when like, there's no guide to go by and like yeah. you're a secondary school kid with no patience and <laughs> <laughs> just like, I don't know what I'm doing, this is worse than algebra. <laughs> No, it's really not. Hang it backwards and forwards. When we finish Big Disc, I need to show you this really ugly portrait I saw. It looks horrifying. Hello, Dr. Odenstein. Have you found anything yet? Give him here, then! Odenstein starts out the machine. The machine hums and shakes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It was truly irritating being a chicken. How can cluck I ever think? A cash reward is always nice. Of course, <laughs> of course. You may as well have these eggs and feathers I mysteriously found in my pockets. Ew! <laughs> Hooray! All 3,000 coins. And four quest points. That's a bit over generous. Come right down to the bottom level and I'll show you this creepy portrait. <laughs> Look at that! Oh That's my it. god! <laughs> the way it's looking! It's like. Creepy. Oh, oh my it's god! Did the eyes actually turn? <laughs> ah! I'm a zombie! That's really creepy. <laughs> I wonder why they were pointing down. Go up and down as well. <laughs> that looks like that looks like orgasm face right there. <laughs> That's Cal Trader just creamed his pants. <laughs> Thank you for watching today everyone, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks for watching!
Bye. Bye. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Oh, he's standing right in front of me. Me? <laughs> oh, what other guy? Do it again. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,